Archaeology and Historic Preservation Month highlights the work of people all across the state. The historic preservation connects people to the past by preserving those places to which their stories are attached. And that's incredibly important for community continuity and for cultural continuity. Colorado just has a lot of those important places that you may not have a chance to see. Archaeology and Historic Preservation Month brings those places to people. Most people, when they think of historic preservation, think about historic buildings. And yet, it's very interesting that archaeology was central to the beginnings of the historic preservation movement in America, and Southwest Colorado was central to that happening. We have three national parks and monuments, Mesa Verde National Park, Hovenweep National Monument, and then Canyons of the Ancients is one of the largest. And then you have not-for-profits like the Crow Canyon Archaeological Center. All of that taken together really makes archaeology and historic preservation one of the main economic drivers of southwestern Colorado. Crow Canyon Archaeological Center always has an active excavation site, and we have laboratory analysis to analyze the artifacts that come from that site. School kids come from all over the country and beyond the United States to participate in our programs. But I do think the experience that they have at Crow Canyon really shapes them as adults. It makes them passionate about historic preservation. It makes them understand why it's important. For 10 years or more, CDOT has been evaluating rockfall hazards along that stretch of I-70 through Georgetown Silver Plume National Historic Landmark. So putting up rockfall structures means we have to say, okay, are we having an adverse effect on this historic property? And we have to talk to the local communities and say, what do you think? The communities of Georgetown Silver Plume recognize that the Georgetown rockfall projects are important for safety. One of their main concerns was just visually that we take some time to consider how those rockfall structures look in the context of the landscape and the towns. We do want to do something that has a benefit to the local communities. The rockfall structures, in some ways, they disappear into that landscape because of what CDOT's done to make sure that they are blending into that hillside. When people come to the town, they can focus on the buildings and that feeling of community. When you walk through those towns, you're able to experience the past. I work for the National Park Service, and we're all about heritage education and recognizing the importance of um, heritage places throughout the country. The rehabilitation of the Murdoch Building is exciting in so many different ways started in 1908 and served the whole economic core of that entire agricultural region and really represented the economic vitality of a very rural part of southeastern Colorado. Everybody in the community of Eads is so happy to drive by and see the old signs that were painted on the side of the building re-emerging. The Murdoch Building will serve as the visitor center for the Sand Creek Massacre site. The story of the Sand Creek Massacre is connected to all of the other important heritage places throughout southeastern Colorado so the building will become a hub for connecting stories. Historic preservation connects people and places in a number of ways to meet the needs of both the county, the National Park Service, the public, and the community, and at the same time, it's a fabulous opportunity. People learn about the past by experiencing places directly, and they have a connection to that story that there's no way they could get from a book. Historic preservation projects couldn't happen without dedicated partners coming together to make a project happen. Everything we do to achieve our mission at Crow Canyon requires us to develop partnerships. One of Crow Canyon's most important partners has been the State Historical Fund. There's almost nothing better than historic preservation and archaeology to really connect a person to their community. And when we're more connected, we just have stronger communities.